Good morning. That's hot. You know what else is hot? Yesterday and today. Yesterday. Let's put that down before I spill something with how angry I'm going to be today at the sun. And make sure I close it up so no one hears me shouting. Yesterday was 31 degrees for me, and it was very humid. I did not want to even bother trying to record yesterday. It was so unbelievably hot. I wake up this morning. In fact, you know what? You're coming with me. Hey Google, what's the weather like today? Right now, it's redacted. It's 23 degrees and mostly sunny. Today, it'll be cloudy, with a forecast high of 33 and a low of 23. Yesterday was 31, and I wake up at 7. The first thing I hear in the morning at 7.05 is the weather report every single day. So I hear that, and I immediately am very angry at the sun. Which is actually quite fitting for today's video. See, a while back, I mentioned I have three Aquascore Hydras, and I want to make another illegal deck out of it, like I did with my Fangzord deck that you guys seem to like for some reason. So, in a protest against the heat and the sun, let's enjoy the water for once, even though I don't like the ocean, with Hydras, and go over what this little deck profile I have has got in store. And just try to stay cool. Screw the heat. I want winter back. Okay, as a thumbnail is showing, we're going to be using Aquas Core Hydras from Battle Planet as our illegal Bakugan for this deck. How I got this Bakugan to use for this deck exactly? Well, I explained that in my Aquas Collection video, where I explained that I actually had three of this guy here. I count them a one, a two, and actually the third one is a diamond one that's still sealed. I did not want to open this for this video. I still want to use this in my collection update where I go over my sealed stuff and my special stuff. So we're going to put that aside. And I had to borrow another one from uh, my sister, actually. And I marked the tier with my sticker just so I know that this is her one when I give it back to her. But yeah, we need three Aquascore Hydras. I'm just gonna move him aside, and as you can see, its character card is uh, not that great. Orange Shield, Helix, 200B, and six punchies. This thing needs some help. But fret not, help is on the way. Let me just explain my, my thought process behind everything here. But to do that, I'm gonna to need to go over the cards in this deck first. And only when we're done that, I'm gonna explain the cores and how you can use them to your advantage. Okay, so obviously we're working with a very low B power Bakugan, so we need something to juice it up, be it actions, evos, or something else. And I decided to go evo route. Oh, by the way, disclaimer, these are all printed proxies, because I have copies of some of these cards, but I don't have enough to make the full deck, and I don't want it to be inconsistent, like the Pyrus Core Fangzor video, where I had some cards printed on paper, some were legitimate, some were printed on cardboard. These are all just proxies printed on card. Anyway, so we got Core Hyper Hydras, 3 energy, 500 B, 10 punchy, so big Mac Moth bait. But when you play an action on this, it gets 200 B. Remember this when I come back to this thing. We have three copies of that. And in case somehow we go through all of this, or we only get to evolve one of them and the other two cards get in the discard pile, we have backups. We have one, two, three, diamond Hydras, 10 punchy, same punchy as here, but 1000 B. Either one will work for what I want to do, but this is just failsafe. Next, we've got cards that can help us get these evos out. Shin Kazami, two energy. Evos cost you one less energy to play. It's a very cheap card. You can get about turn two. It'll help you in the long run. We're going to run three of him because in theory, he can make this evolution right here, the Hyper Hydras, for free. And then he can make the diamond one, which is typically expensive and not worth playing, worth only, I mean, only cost two energy. Okay, now we've got other e uh, heroes, excuse me, Everett Ray. I'm gonna run three copies of him. This costs two less energy for each 
cards you've played this turn, you're Bakugan at 200B. So he stacks, all your Bakugan will just get a constant 600B buff. So even if we don't get any evos off here, the Hydras, where is my character card? Found it, sorry. So the character card already has 200B plus a 600 from Everett, he's gonna be 800 base. I know there are Bakugan that have 800 base, but remember, we're working with something that I have three of here. Okay, next, how do we get Everett Ray out early so we can get these cards off early? He's a six cost character card, I mean hero card, excuse me. Very expensive. So, he costs two less for each card I play this turn. Luckily, Flow is the thing in the Aquas faction. So we can run Greater Water Boost, three copies of that. It's literally for free, just extra 100B, play three of those things. Uh, Everett will cost two less to play, run three Greater Water Boost. You can become for free, literally turn one. If the stars are aligned, they're never not, they're never really going to be aligned, but you know, we're working with best case scenario here. And then on top of that, if, let's say, we got this one Evo out, and we want to evolve a different one to the Diamond one, or to another Hyper Hydras, every action... Excuse me, there's construction outside. And I can't do anything about it. I wish I could. Hello, again, yes, we are at the halfway point yet again, my friends. Halfway point to the video, halfway point to the day for myself. And it is very hot. So I hope you're drinking water, because you need plenty of water to survive and maintain a healthy lifestyle. And you know what else I need? I need you to subscribe, please. Because my goal is to reach 500 subs before the end of July of this year. And it means so much to me if I could reach that goal before that happens. We are just, just over 100 away. And I really want to hit that milestone. That would be amazing. And then who knows what else could happen from there. But yeah, you guys, if you do subscribe, you can see more videos I have planned in the future. Things like more legal deck profiles, more collection updates, and battles I actually have planned with these decks in the near future. And see what happens. Anyway, I'll let you all continue the rest of the video. Bye bye. Okay, there, construction's quiet for a bit. So every greater water boost we play gives us 100, and if we play it on this specific Evo here, we're gonna get plus 300B. Now, I know I know it's not crazy B, but again, we're working with the best we have here. I'm trying to make the other hero cards effect go off. And if you play this for free, we can then pay one energy for flooding waters. Sorry, my brain farted there for a second. So, <laughs> Flooding Waters, 1 energy, plus 200B for each Aquas Bakugan on your team. So, turn 1, play this AZ 600B on top of that. We're gonna run 3 copies of that. And, excuse me, I meant to have this earlier, so if you're on Greater Water Boost, turn 1, or turn whatever, um, it's just free play. Already one card off. You can then play Wave Slash. Normally it gives you plus 300 for 3 energy, but Flow, if you played another card this turn, you get 1000 instead. So you easily get an easy 1000B for free at that point. We're gonna run three copies of that. Now, now we're gonna get into some interesting ways to play here. So let's just move these aside here. Next, we're gonna run one, two, three copies of uh, Dark Water, excuse me, I couldn't read there for a second, only because it gives us an extra B boost, because let's face it, this thing needs all the B it can get, and you get to reroll your Bakugan. And I'm also going to run two copies of Deep Dive because it does the same thing without the B power boost and instead that you draw a card. Damn construction! Okay, there we go. We're also going to run two Shin Kazami from Battle Resurgence. Only two because you only have two Deep Dives. I just didn't feel like drawing cards was that important unless we want to try and make a lot of things pop off at once we need cards in our hand. So when you open a Bakugan, you may draw a card. It works with the reroll cards. Cool, but again, this is not my main focus. I have another plan for these cards here. That plan being the gears. We're gonna run three copies of Aquas Cannon, and we're and we're gonna run three copies of Wings of Aquas. I'll explain why we're running these specific uh, gears in a second, but let's just take a look at them individually. So Aquas Cannon and Wings of Aquas. Uh, Wings of Aquas and Aquas Cannon are two cost energy coming two cost gear cards on Wings of Aquas. On a orange shield, you get to add a core plus 300B plus one punchy permanently. Aquas Cannon plus 300 on a helix plus 100 plus three punchy. Now, if we saw Aquas Hydrace's character card, he is orange shield and helix already. So we can work with these because our whole 
whole team is just going to be carrying those specific cores. I'm going to go over cores later in more detail, um, like what cores we're going to bring into the fight. But, excuse me, if you run gear reduction cores, let's say we land on this core here on turn one. We have Hydrus out, we roll him out, he lands on this core. Okay? Minus two gear, I mean, minus, yeah, minus two gear energy, plus 200 B. He's only 400 minus two uh, gear plus six punchy. That's it. Not very good, he's not gonna win. But let's say we have one of these two in our hand. We can then play a reroll card on turn one, cause one energy. So in order, we roll him out. He lands on this. We play one of these two for free. We then get to re-roll and land again on either a core that's actually going to give us a good amount of B or a core that's going to give us a good amount of B and a little bit of uh, less punchy. But let's not forget, he has six punchy, so you can lose three punchy. It's not going to be that bad. So whether you play Aquas Cannon or Wings of Aquas, you are going to get good buffs. If you use Aquas Cannon, you get the plus 600, plus 300, for that's a 900 actually. And you get your three punchy back that this is taken away and an extra 100 on top of that. If you run with the Rings of Aquas strategy, you get to get the plus 300, plus 1, plus you get to add a core from the field. So you can then steal your opponent's cores or just go straight for another magic shield that's just on the field for a plus uh, 650, no problem. It, it's got weird ways you can work around it, but I'm going to go over the cores in more detail once we're done with the cards. Okay, so that's the heroes. Uh, I mean, that's the heroes, that's the action cards and gears. Now we go on to what's left. For flips, we're gonna run two copies of everything basically. Two Sneaky Squid, stop a non-fusion Bakugan if you do draw a card. So again, that, that, that covers a broad range of things you can stop here. Gonna run obviously the basic counter whatever. So three energy, stop not Aquas. And we're also going to run to fluid form, one energy, stop an Aquas or a fusion Bakugan. That covers everything that we could possibly come up against in like the broadest spectrum possible. And then lastly, because that's all 40 cards. Lastly, we got the Nanogon. Now again, because we have restricted cores, we have to be very picky with the Nanogon we choose. So an easy pick was Nano Widow because he has on my orange shield, excuse me, for both of its effects. That's okay. For the other two though, we have to rely on our opponent bringing either a green fist, or for both of them actually, I thought it was just for sludge and, excuse me. So we have to worry about our opponent bringing whatever cores they want. If they have green fists, cool. Otherwise, they're gonna have to use their top effects, which are not the greatest, but again, I don't like to use nanos a lot, but they're, they're okay in a pinch. Okay, now for cores. So because we have three copies of this box down, we're going to be running three orange shields and three helix. Now, my best idea for how this deck could work is we run one, two, gear reduction and B boosting ma uh, orange shield, excuse me. And then the last orange shield is just something to buff us if we actually want to go with a orange shield and using the Wings of Aquas that I mentioned earlier. And if not this, then again, we're going to use at least one gear reduction helix, which gives us shadow strike. It's not the greatest, but it's something. And then we're going to run at least one trap helix, only because I'm very scared of what my opponent's gonna possibly bring to me because Hydrus is not strong. He has to get those evos off and get a chain reaction going to stand a chance. Speaking of chain reaction, we're also going to use the plus 600 minus 3 punchy helix that I mentioned earlier because he can lose a little bit of punchy. Now you can swap these out. Like honestly, I think personally, um, you can run literally, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like any one of these other three cores are perfectly fine. You can run another plus 600 minus 3, a plus 500 minus 1 if you want to have a bit more punchy but still get a good B boost or you could run a plus 300 minus one gear if you want to have a little bit more B power on a orange shield but I personally don't want to use this because I want to get gears off for free. I want to spend my energy on action cards on the Evo for Hyper Hydrus. I want to get off yeah, heroes and these here are literally just interchangeable because I've got one of this one but you can swap out any one of these 
for one of these or even just like screw these two and just go straight for uh, B boost and minus damage but I, I personally would stick with what I have on screen right now. This this is what I would oops, excuse me. This is what I would go with for um, this build specifically. I almost forgot. There are no Geogon in this deck because I am confident in my ability to roll out my Bakugan. But in if you want and you're not confident at all, you can swap out some of the cards I mentioned in the deck for these Geogon specifically. Um, just because they are low energy, quick to pop off. Easy, that's it. Because Hydrus needs to build up to his Evo, because he's pretty pathetic at the start, um, you can use these early game to try and win one or two battles before you can start playing your Evos, playing your flow effects, getting your gears off, etc, etc, etc. I didn't personally put these in, but I mean, if you are not confident, you can use these Geogon as well. So, what did you think of that one? I personally think it's way better than the Core Power Spangzor deck I did a while back, and I do really want to make more decks like this and just see what happens. I'm going to try and battle a few people, some friends, some people online, some people in person, and see what happens. In fact, I've already invited someone that you might already watch to do an online brawl with the deck I'm going to make that you haven't seen yet, but yeah, that's going to be fun. Anyway, thank you all again so much for watching. If you please, please just consider subscribing because I'm trying to reach 500 subs before the end of July this year. That means so much to me. And also let you see the other videos that are coming up with more deck profiles, new collection updates, including the diamond you saw earlier, you know, um, this thing, this thing right here, and so much more. Oops. Anyway, uh, ta-ta!